Hi, I'm Matt Dietz with ESCO Security, and I want to show you a project that ESCO just completed uh, here at Community Fellowship Church in Lancaster, PA. Uh, in this project, we replaced the whole fire alarm system and converted it to a voice evacuation. They added on that side of the building over there, so we did a new install over there, as well as replacing the entire existing system. So if we head on inside, I'll show you the, the system. So this system here uh, is a, is a Kita VM voice evacuation system. So this is the main panel of the fire alarm. And then to the right of it here, we have, these are booster power supplies. Um, we have all of our, amp our amplifiers in here to control the whole first floor. Upstairs, we have another amplifier that does the whole second floor. All these strobe circuits are powered off of these panels here. And because of the size of the system, we had to have a battery cabinet to size the batteries to, uh, to be able to provide power to this whole system. Um, inside the panel here, we have all the control, all the controls in here. We have disable buttons to make it testing easier. We have a microphone, so you can the fire department can uh, take control of the speakers and provide um, specific instructions. Um, so it's very, very uh, user-friendly system here for both the service personnel and the church personnel. All right, one of the other things I wanted to talk about was how our elevator recall works. So um, the, way, the way the elevator recall works is that we have a smoke detector on every floor of outside the elevator door, um, and that smoke detector will send that elevator to a safe floor. So if the smoke detector goes off on, on a particular floor, it won't let any occupants out in, on that floor. So what it does is it sends the elevator to an alternate floor, opens the doors, and locks them open. So I'm gonna head out to the first floor elevator lobby and we're gonna hit a smoke detector and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so here we are in the first floor elevator lobby. Uh, this elevator has two stops, uh, lower level and upper level. Um, the smoke detector here will send this elevator uh, to the upper level. And I'll show you the elevator is currently on this floor. Now when I smoke the smoke detector, it'll put it into recall mode. And what we're going to see is this elevator is going to um, go upstairs and it's, the doors are going to open and that's to let all the occupants out of the elevator um, on, the, on a safe floor. So if there's a fire here in front of these elevator doors, it will not let the occupants out on this floor. So it'll send them up to the alternate floor. So my fire alarm just went into an alarm. Wait for the relay to activate here. So right now, the, the smoke detector is in verification mode. Uh, we have a 16 second verification programmed into it. So when it goes in alarm, it waits 16 seconds and if it still sees a sampling of smoke in the ch chamber, and it goes in alarm. So there we've uh, hit that 16 seconds. We're in alarm. Elevator is going upstairs right now. Okay. All right, now, um, now I can reset the fire alarm system and, it's, and then we can reset this elevator. So now that the fire alarm system is reset, now I can use the firefighter um, service key and I'm gonna reset the elevator. Okay, and now I'll be able to recall it down to the first floor and it's back to normal operation. All right, now the elevator is back in use. Okay, so now I'm gonna demonstrate a elevator shunt trip uh, from the heat detector in the top of the elevator shaft going into alarm. So I'm gonna simulate that smoke detector going into alarm from the front panel here. So now I have that device is in alarm elevator shaft heat. 
I got my relay confirmation light telling me that the relay is activated for the stunt trip. And if we go over the elevator, we'll see that it's powered down. So here we are in the main electrical room. Uh, and this switch gear has the breaker for the elevator. So I've reset the fire alarm system. My relay has restored back to normal. And now I can turn the elevator breaker back on. Okay, and now we have power back to normal. Okay, so now the alarm light has gone out, it's reset, and, and our relay for our shunt trip has also restored. So here we are in the main sanctuary of this church, and I'm going to show you a feature of the Farland system, uh, kind of unique to this building. So we need to be able to shut down all the audio system when the fire alarm goes off because we need to be 15 dB above ambient when the fire alarm goes off. And since we'll never be able to overpower the sound system, we actually have to mute it uh, and then so that the voice evacuation message can be heard. So I'm going to go over and hit a pulsation and we're going to see the system go off. So here I am going to activate the pulsation. Okay, so the fire alarm system took control of our audio system, has muted their speakers, so that our voice evacuation speakers can be heard. Hi, I'd like to introduce Jack Resser, the owner's representative for Community Fellowship Church, and I'd like to let him explain a little bit of his role in this project. Uh, as a retired architect, I was very interested in volunteering with Community Fellowship church which I am a member of uh, being here day to day to help coordinate all the construction work and uh, answer questions and keep things running smoothly we really appreciated having ESCO here today uh, for the for the job uh, as we're finishing up I uh, wanted to say that I enjoyed working with all the people uh, the workers were very polite and especially Matt kept me informed about what was going to happen and uh, explained things as we went along. And uh, all in all, it went very well. It was, it was very nice to have somebody from the church uh, that we could communicate with and, and uh, organize all of our work and, and be able to have uh, one contact to go to, to to handle all the issues in this project. It was very nice to work with Jack. So in conclusion, uh, thank you for joining us in this uh, another highlight of, our, of a project and we'll see you on the next one.